read. Welcome to Log Furniture How To, the most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Welcome to the San Juan Carpentry YouTube channel. This is uh, Chris Williams with Rocky Blue Woodworks. And if you remember our last video, we showed you how to make these tapered legs. And so today we're going to show you how to finish the bench uh, by building the frame and adding the top to it. And this is using uh, pocket hole joinery. So I'll show you right now what the bottom looks like. So you can see all these pocket holes right here. It's just basically just an angled hole. Um, so you can screw everything together real easily. Uh, there's no glue holding this together, just screws holding the frames to the legs and then also screws holding the top to the frame and it's a pretty sturdy design, really easy to do uh, with just a hand drill. So uh, if you'd like to see the video on how we made the legs, click right here and this will take you to the video uh, so you can watch how we did the legs. So let's get started building the frame and let's see how it all goes together. So if you'd like to skip ahead to where I do the joinery, if you've already got your parts made up and don't need to watch how that's done, uh, click anywhere on the screen right now and it'll skip ahead to me doing the joints. So the tool I'll be using today is a simple pocket hole jig. Uh, basically all it is is a, a drill guide and it drills an angled hole like that so you can basically screw any type of board into another board uh, real simply and it's kind of a hidden hidden screw. You don't see any hardware if you do it all on the inside. So um, here I have it set for the framework uh, on the ends of the frames where I'm going to screw it to the legs. I have my jig set an inch and a half, so that means that the drill is going to come out almost in the center of your board. And I've got the depth collar set for inch and a half. There's a uh, marks on here where you can set your collar to the right depth, so you drill your hole to the right depth every time. So you just basically drill it down like that, and then your screw goes in at an angle. It's pretty simple. On the sides, where I'm going to screw uh, the top of my bench to the frame. I'm going to adjust it down to three quarter inch because the top is going to be three quarters of an inch thick. So, and then I'll have to adjust my depth collar too uh, down to three quarter so it doesn't drill it quite as deep. Because if I didn't adjust it, it would drill down into the fixture and it would be messed up. So. Anyway, it will drill it down to probably about right there, and then I'll use shorter screws uh, while attaching the top so I don't poke through the top because it's only three quarters of an inch thick. So. so, on the ends of these boards, uh, where I'm going to screw it to the legs, I have the jig set an inch and a half so that my screw comes out in the center of the board and I'm drilling three holes, three pocket holes to screw to the legs uh, on each end and that'll give me a pretty tight strong joint and on the sides of the boards where I'm going to attach my top uh, the pocket holes uh, don't need to be as deep so I'm going to adjust that down and I'll be using inch and a quarter long screws there to attach the top so, so the screws don't poke through the top. And when I'm attaching the frames to the legs, I'll be using two and a half inch long screws. So I need to adjust the depth of my, my drill so I don't drill too deep. So now I'm here on the shaper, or and you can do this on a router table. But I'm just putting a, a radius on the edges that are going to be exposed. There's some edges on the bottom that I don't need to do, so I'm just going to leave those sharp. 
uh, where they butt up against each other so they won't ever be seen. So I'm just going to do the outside edges. So now all that's left to do is I have to sand the top and the legs and apply a finish to it. Um, probably do some Watco Danish oil and a polyurethane finish. Um, it's actually a little bit easier if you sand all your parts first uh, before you put it together. It'll save you a little bit of time and not be so tedious. So now you've seen how this bench, simple bench goes together. Uh, you can use this style for building uh, bench like we've done here or you can add a different top for a coffee table or you can use the same style for building a dining table uh, the same type of joinery you just add a different top and uh, if you want to see how we do the epoxy finish on dining room tables uh, you can click on this video right here this link our next video if you want to click on this link right here it'll take you to our next video on how to build chairs uh, for a dining room table so we'll walk you through every step of how to build some pretty sort of complex chairs but they're actually pretty easy to build using uh, a simple joint. Well thanks for watching the San Juan Carpentry YouTube channel um, with your host Chris Williams of Rocky Blue Woodworks. You can check out my website and um, if you like the video click like and you can share it on Facebook and Twitter and uh, if you have any questions or comments write them down below and we'll get you some answers. And please subscribe to the San Juan Carpentry YouTube channel so you can see all of our upcoming videos on how to build furniture. Thanks for watching. The music you heard in this video was performed by Colorado pianist Lacey Black. To find out more about Lacey, you can visit her website at laceyblack.net or find her on Facebook.